Imagine trying to navigate our busy Dallas streets blind. It's not easy, especially with all those rental bikes that are parked along the sidewalks, but a blind Dallas man found a new high tech solution. Matt Howerton shows us. We all walk and talk on the phone. Okay. Eric Burton here is speaking to a woman named Monica. So how's everything else going? But not to catch up. Everything's going pretty great today. How is your day? Been? Monica is telling Burton where to go. The 56-year-old is blind. This has given me freedom that I haven't currently had. You might remember Burton. Earlier this year, he tripped over a rental bike near his home and partially tore his ACL. Yep. Those bikes are all throughout Dallas, and since September, the city has fielded almost 3,000 complaints, mostly because they're left abandoned or blocking sidewalks. It is. For uh, people like me, it is uh, a, battleground. Uh, a battleground. See, Monica even says battleground. Here's where Monica steps in. You see, Burton got fed up with those bikes, so he bought these Ira glasses. It's pretty incredible. There's a camera on the side of them, and all Burton has to do Siri call Ira. is call a number, and an agent who works for Ira can see what Burton can. Navigating him through Dallas's rental bike minefield. They can be as descriptive as I want or as non-descriptive as I want. The city of Dallas is close to passing rules and regulations for bike share companies, which will likely limit the amount we see all the time. But Burton is afraid that they'll still get abandoned in the middle of sidewalks. So for 24-7 on-call navigation service, he'll pay 329 bucks a month just so he doesn't hurt himself again. If you want to step to the right to avoid this utility pole, and there's a tap for peace of mind. I don't know that you can put a price tag on freedom. I'm a self-driving blind guy, and uh, I'm loving every minute of it. Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News.